In this documentary, we will be discussing inclusion through many different organizations on Westchester's main campus. Our community consists of many different people of many different backgrounds and many different economic statuses. Luckily, there are some great resources here for any students that are struggling financially. In the Lawrence Center, Westchester has a food pantry that allows students to grab some free groceries. So what's your name? Jace. And tell me about your experiences here at Westchester when it comes to financial inclusion. Uh, so I have actually been one of the main utilizers of the food pantry that we have. Uh, it's open from 9 to 4 in Sykes. Um, you can go regardless of need level. Um, the staff is very friendly and very welcoming. And yeah, it's just a really great resource to use. Thank you. Next, we'll be talking about inclusion at the Dowdy Monster Culture Center located at Sykes. Can you give a brief summary of what the um, mentorship program is at the Multicultural Center? Like, yeah, the, um, the pyramids are like multicultural things just for uh, just for us to help you know, minority students stay in school and uh, just really do good and try to build a friendship with them. And, um, just really help them through a hard time because coming into a new school and a new environment and stuff like that is really hard, you know, especially for first year students. So just helping them maintain grades building that friendship and just uh, really creating that bond. Would you recommend this program to like incoming freshmen? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I mean, um, like I said, it's our, our main priority is helping stay in school. So anything that you need, whether it be money, time, just a person to talk to, anything like that, uh, we're here for you. So definitely I recommend it for everybody. Um, just coming to the first year. Were you a mentee? Your first, your freshman year? Yeah, I was a mentee. Uh, had a great mentor. He taught me through a lot of things. Um, he helped me get involved on campus. And, uh, yeah. So, as a mentor, what is your mission for your mentee? Like, uh, my mission is just to build that bond, um, just to be somebody they can come and talk to. Um, I really just keep them here in school. So, if they need help with homework, if they need somebody to study with, if they need resources, just I'm the person that they come to. And, um, it's really great that mom. My name is Mike Shago. And I'm Mike Yago. And we are exploring the religious inclusion on campus. Westchester University has over 13 religious organizations, ranging from the Fellowship of Christian Athletes to the Muslim Student Association. These clubs meet at various times all around campus. One of the largest organizations around campus are the Catholics, and they meet at the Newman Center. Let's go check it out. Hi, I'm Claire Kitchell. I'm the president of the Catholic Newman Center here on campus. Uh, we're located between North and South Campus. Uh, you can find us on your way on your walk down. Uh, we have all kinds of things going on here. We have a chapel, we have a full church, we have a library upstairs where we all hang out, as well as a big hangout room downstairs with a full kitchen. Uh, we have all of the sacraments, and you can find all of those listed on our sign outside or online. Um, and yeah, come down anytime. Everybody's welcome. We're always open. So. How does Newman promote religious inclusion? Um, I would say that just by the nature of the Newman Center, we promote religious inclusion because our doors are open to everybody. It does not matter if you're Catholic or not Catholic or a student, somebody from the community, like our doors are open, you're welcome to come anytime. And there's always people here who are happy to like sit with you and talk with you about faith or any questions that you might have or explain anything that's going on. As well as we have a lot of events that are just like primarily to promote sort of like open religious discussion like Thursday nights every single Thursday night we have dinner and discussion where we make a free dinner and we just have some sort of open discussion um, as well as you know praise and worship on Wednesday nights and all kinds of different activities that people can take part in to just be a part of a community um, we're a community of faith but we're also just a community of students who enjoy each other's company and love having new people down here to um, take part in that so.